everybody. Last discussion post, getting ready to go over George Marston. Um, have to confess, I'm a little sad for the class to be over. I've actually really enjoyed this class. So let's look at George Marston. So early in his work, Marston wrote that contemporary university culture is hollow at its core. And this is something that really struck me because it's actually entirely true and it's sad. Um, it's a sad statement of where we've become, where we've come as a culture. Um, but I don't necessarily think that we've stayed hollow. I think, in fact, what happened is like any time that there's a void, something comes in to fill that void. And in this instance, what filled that void was blatant liberalism. So that ideology is even more pronounced in the past decade on college and university campuses across the country. Um, in, and I cited in uh, a Harvard study that was done in March 2020, 80% of the professors at Harvard University identified as either liberal or very liberal. And while we know in theory that, that that's true, um, it's, it's really an incredible number, um, less than 2% identified as conservative. And it's really gotten to the point where liberal-minded uh, professors, uh, people in higher education, make absolutely no pretense of hiding their political beliefs um, or their social beliefs. But by the same token, if you were to be equally outspoken about your Christian beliefs or Christian faith, then that becomes an issue as far as your uh, promotability, your employability, um, and even being taken seriously, especially in public universities um, and, and public schools in general. It's just not something that's accepted. And yet, if you were doing the same thing and being equally vocal about liberal political beliefs, it would be completely fine with the administration and with the students. So I came across the 2019 interview with George Marsden where he made the statement that he sees historians as kind of a guide to Christians. And this really struck me because it's something that I've been trying to work out in my mind um, throughout the semester um, after reading uh, another text in a different class. And that work was by um, David Bebbington, um, titled Patterns in History. And one of the things that really struck me with this, and it's something that I've been really trying to work through through this whole semester, is the difference between being a Christian and having faith um, and being an evangelical Christian. And I really, I see those as two different things. Um, and it's something that I'm continuing to work on and continuing to struggle through. But between the two works, it definitely got me to consider how I want to approach my studies going forward.